Uh, yeah, correction, uh, Carlos just, it, I was getting the subscriber, uh, glitch where it wasn't showing up in my, uh, subscribe list, but he actually had uploaded it, uh, two more. So, yeah, anyway, it's day five, and there hasn't been really much. I'm out right now, I'm getting, uh, hope to get a tea from Tim Hortons and some, some pop to do with those chips I bought, uh, or during the storm. And, uh, not much else. I got ready for, uh, the storm. I made sure I had extra bottled water down and all that. So, and my uh, power pack's charged. So, yeah. <coughs> this is the Tim Hortons in, uh, Bridgetown. So, it's day five. And since I haven't done much, I'm gonna... I did cook, uh, um, some chicken breast, too. But, uh, might as well talk about, uh, something that has to do with five. And I could talk about Junpei from, uh, Zero Escape, but we're going to talk about Alex Esposito from Lifeline Crisis Law. <laughs> Record skip noise. Um, yeah, I did record a video about Alex Esposito, but it started to get close to six minutes, so I decided to relocate and record this and upload the other one separately. Uh, so the link will be in the description, you know, like, comment, subscribe, uh, like a real YouTuber, um, hit the notification bell, join the notification squad. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, Alex Esposito is my favorite lifeline protagonist, um, I love him at the end of uh, Crisis Line when I finished it, but it was more a love that grew over several months, um, like rereading, because some of it, like him pouring his heart out, kind of, uh, I didn't remember it as much as until I reread it. But, uh, yeah, and it's sad that there might not be a sequel indefinitely, because of all the low ratings and difficulties when this game first came out because of, uh, like, the save erasing update. And, uh, which is kind of weird because, uh, Anna and me and other beta testers, um, because I had the game, like, early in the month, like, and, uh, like a month early. We had, like, no problems with the beta version, but there were difficulties with the, uh, main release, and I'm kind of wondering if I play the beta version to the end, if it will still have the, uh, crashing if you try to scroll back to the start and that, uh, rewind to start doesn't work. There's just something, like, around the time, uh, like, near the start, uh, when that gets, like, the hedge people are blocking them in, that it kind of, uh, crashes every time even with blue stacks too. And uh, you can't rewind to pass that or the beginning of it, even if you scroll back to a choice before that and then try to scroll back, you can't, so I don't know what's going on. And the unable to rewind is still uh, applicable with iOS too. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I got my tea, and there's still some left, so I haven't rolled up the rim yet. But I get an Earl Grey uh, extra large, uh, two bags left in. And I get uh, three milk, one sugar. I like to get four milk if it's at a place like Middleton, because they usually have it there is really hot, but Bridgetown's usually cold. And if it wasn't such a large cup, I'd probably get two milk. Because uh, I like to have it at a temperature where I can down it, but it's still kind of warm. Like, not lukewarm, but, you know, drinkable warm. And I also got, uh, some pop. Well, energy drinks. Uh, I went in to get pop to go with my chips, but, uh, ended up with getting, uh, some grape. Because there's a meme in the Discord that I was involved with about grape. Uh... So I saw this, and I got this, uh, new Rockstar Revolt Killer Grape, and, uh, Mountain Dew Kickstart Midnight Grape. So, 
So we'll see how that is. I also get vitamin water. I have like an addiction to vitamin water. Um, the tropical citrus is my favorite. And it was on it was on sale at the gas station for two for four, which isn't as good a deal as uh, at like Sobeys where it's two for three. But every time I've gone to Sobeys lately to get it, like I usually buy like probably six at a time. When I go grocery shopping uh, to have for like I drink some and I dilute it. Um, but anyway, the uh, the all I've had left is the uh, stevia lemonade. Like even the uh, shine, which I did not care for, um, is usually sold out. Like the whole rack thing, like they have those, you know, you pull one out and another one rolls forward, are usually empty. Except for the uh, sugar free lemonade. But uh, I didn't care for the shine. Um, I found it, like, I like grapefruit and I like watermelon, but something is off with the uh, grapefruit flavor they chose. It tastes more like just bitter, like an off bitter, like a chemically bitter. And it's also artificial watermelon, so combined it kind of isn't good to me. Um, it might be good to people, because other people, because it sells out and it's still for sale, even though it was like a limited summer edition. But yeah, it's getting ready to storm. Start it too. I seen the snow uh, blowing from the porch, and hopefully we don't lose power. <laughs>